two-time American League champion, the World Series champion with the Atlanta Braves, and a proper lifetime baseball man. It is our Ron Washington of uh, the Texas Rangers and now uh, Los Angeles Angels here on 105.3 The Fan. And a good afternoon to you, sir. How the heck are you? I'm doing very well. So happy to be in Globe Life Park. Man, it's, it's great to have you. We had you on the show for the first time 14 years ago, Ron. It's just outstanding to get uh, a chance to chat with you again. Does being here bring up a lot of memories for you? Yes, it does. Um, you know, I really had the, the best time in my baseball career uh, here in Texas, so watching us grow and then watching us uh, find out what it takes to try to be a champion. Uh, we, we didn't become the world champion, but in our hearts, we were champions. Absolutely. What What do you think of the new ballpark? Well, I love it. Remember, uh, I was in it uh, during the COVID, and we played the championship oh, games here. Right. So mm-hmm. I got a chance to come in and enjoy it and um, have fun. And I'm very happy to be back. Hey, Wash, you're one of the great teachers of all time, of any sport or anything, I mean, just the, the work ethic and all that. And I know now as a manager, do you get to still do all the teaching that you were so great at, or is it, is it kind of do you miss that a little bit if you're not? No, I'm still working. You know, I still come to the yard. I get everything I have to do behind the scenes done early so I can get on the field and, and mingle with the guys and talk baseball and, and help them uh, develop their skill set. So, no, I'm still doing that, and I love every minute of it. Is it more these days with how young baseball rosters have become? It's uh, a lot more because the simple things, uh, the things you actually would take for granted, uh, they actually don't know. So you out here every single day trying to teach the game, trying to give them the definitions of the game, trying to make certain that uh, they don't panic when something don't happen. As long as you're in the process, uh, you'll get uh, to uh, what you're trying to accomplish. So, no, it's fun. I've been having a good time. And uh, we're progressing. We're moving forward. We're not where we want to be, but I tell you, every single day it gets better. We're just so happy that baseball came to a place that, you know, appreciated your, your wisdom and your gut to the extent that it, that it does now. How has that been over the last 15 years, watching how, you know, how front offices looked at managers evolve? Well, it's, uh, it's been a transition. You know, the fact that uh, the past eight years I was in Atlanta, and uh, we had a young group that became successful, just like the young group here became successful in one World Series. And you begin to understand how the workings go, and you try to make it an association. And it's not us on the field against the guys up, up in the front office. It's all of us have to work together. And that's always been the way I handle things anyway. I like to have conversations. I like to have debates. I like to have the reason why uh, this should happen and why that should happen. And as long as we talk about it, and you, we can get it from both sides, and then we can put it together and find a way to make it work on the field. Uh, it's been comfortable, and that's the only way I know how to do things. What's your go-to story to talk about how amazing it was to, to be with those guys in 2010 and in 2011 and those, those two trips to the World Series? Well, my go-to story is uh, when I had my little issue in 2010 and I addressed the team, and Michael Young stood up and said, I got your back, Skip. And from that point on, uh, we became who we knew we was working all that time to be. So I remember that vividly when Michael stood up in front of everybody and told me he had my back. That meant so much to me because before he did that, I just told the guys that they have to make their own decision on what they think of me and how they feel about me. But when Michael stood up and said what he said, it changed the whole room and it changed the attitude of the club moving forward. All right, it's the great Ron Washington here with us on The Fan. Yeah, Wash, I, I saw a clip of you the other day. You were in a group, a setting, and, and you were telling baseball stories, and you were talking about Burt Blylevin and the curveball when he buckled you <laughs> with the Ken Kaiser story. And, you know, and I thought, I said, man, that is typical Wash right there. That is a guy that not only tells a great story, paints the picture for everybody, but that's, I guess that's what we really all, all the great things you've done for us here in Texas. We just love you for the stories and the memories that you've given us. Well, I, I thank you guys for the memories you gave to me and the support. You know, the support helped you be strong through weak times, you know. And, and I must say that I did get support 
100% while I was here. And, um, you know, the joy of it is just watching those guys grow, to watch a Kinsler, a Kinsler become what he became in his baseball career, to watch a Michael Young continue uh, to grow and bring people with him, to watch a Josh Hamilton, to watch a Bell trade, to watch a Elvis Andrews at 18 years old come from double-A and um, had to take a beating in the beginning, but he stayed strong and got through it. You know, to watch, watch a Mitch Morland or David Murphy, you know, all of those guys. How about a Mike Napoli coming from the Angels and coming here and becoming a star and went on to have a tremendous career? So, I mean, there was a lot of things to be thankful for, and more than anything else, I was just thankful to be the manager. Man, that was amazing to hear you say that, uh, Ron. I, I do have a follow-up question. Uh, would you say you were more of an antler guy or a claw guy if you had to pick one? <laughs> um, I was more of a claw guy. <laughs> I like the claw. I did. I did. <laughs> oh, that was great memories. Hey, Wash, uh, uh, you know, as you, 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 as you started off as the manager, you know, in, in the Rangers, you got that experience, and now where you are today is do – do baseball, do you, do you have enough time to implement your plans, your your culture, you think? Are, are we are we not very patient with baseball managers anymore? Well, the, the key is they're not very patient with uh, managers anymore uh, because everybody wants to win. But, sure. you know, when you're in a situation where you have to build a winner, uh, patience has to be the main thing. And I'm here in Los Angeles with the Angels. And we're trying to build a winner. Every day right. these guys go out there, it's an experience for them. And the experience is how to win ball games. The experience is not going out there just playing, and then at the end of the day you lose a ball game. And it's easy to say, I lost the ball game. But the best part about it is you got to express to them the things that caused that loss and make them understand every day we come out here, we're in the process of learning how to win because they've never won before. I have, so I know what it takes to win, and I got to be patient. The front office got to be patient. My coaching staff have to be patient, and the players have to be patient. And if we all patient, we're going to get where we're going. I have no doubt about that. So, I'm I'm in a good situation right now. Um, that uh, the things that we are trying to do here, it will happen. Um, it's just not happening as quick as the fans would like it in Los Angeles. It may not be happening as quick as some other people may think it should happen, but every day we show up, we can feel that it's happening. Hey, Wash, we're out here in center field, and, and we got a, a soundbite of you the other day with the interaction with the reporters talking about getting a bunt down. And so uh -huh. I was watching some batting practice earlier here with you guys. looked like they were working on some bunting drills. I think that came from the, the big boss to say, hey, we're going to become a better bunting team here. Did, we, did I get that right? Yes, but the thing is, we've been doing that every day. Oh, yeah. It's okay. not just us being here in Texas and something went down where it was questioned. Uh, we've been doing it every day, and it's something that I told my guys they're going to have to do. We're going to have to be a part of it. I'm a competitor, too, and, you know, I might have expressed myself uh, a little too matter of fact, but I don't take it back. You know, right. um, I'm a competitor, too, just like everyone else, and then you just got some people that will take the things you say and put it out there as if it was the way they put it out there, and it really wasn't. You know, it really yeah. wasn't. I was just matter of fact, and I will continue to be matter of fact. Yeah, we loved it, Ron, just like we love everything uh, about your, your baseball character and your baseball passion. We thank you so much for making some time for us today on your Home of the Rangers. Well, I appreciate you guys having me, and as you know, I do love talking baseball. Hey, yes, sir. Anytime you're in town, we'd love to have you. Salute. Good luck. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs>